Hi everyone, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the YouTube Q&A and I apologize it's taking me a while to upload this. The original video that I filmed was just completely bad quality so I have to refilm it today. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. I'm going to be answering your questions that you have commented on my previous YouTube videos and my boyfriend who is currently behind the camera is also going to help me answer them as well. Especially because some of the questions are related to computer engineering and he is currently a computer engineering major. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first question. Do you agree that it's not worth going to UW if you don't get direct admit into your competitive major? I think it depends completely on if you are set on your competitive major or not because if you are completely set then it would really really be hard it would really be hard to get into your major if you are not direct into it. But if you're not set on it, there are so many other options out there that you can explore, so many other majors, so many different classes that you can take so you can explore your options and just explore different fields. So in my opinion, if you are completely set on your major and you don't get direct, maybe it might not be good to go to UW. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. It's very difficult to get into certain majors like computer engineering and computer science. So if you're not direct, you have a very small chance to get in, honestly. But if that's what you want to do, then you might be better off going to a different school if you're not direct. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, question number two. What clubs and extracurriculars do you recommend joining at UW? There aren't any specific clubs that I recommend you join because I feel like it's different for each person. But I do recommend you joining a club that is related to your major, one, or just the field that you're interested in. And then two, two, I suggest you join a club that is about something that you identify with. Like for example, I am in the Filipino American Student Association because I am Filipino. And three, I also suggest you join, joining a club that may be out of your career interests, but it is something that you are still very interested in. Like for example, I am in Muse Magazine, which is the UW Fashion Magazine, and that has nothing to do with my major, which is industrial engineering, but I still wanted to join just so I can get the skills of graphic designing and all that, and just to see how it would be in the fashion field. So yeah, those are the three different clubs that I recommend you joining. Is there anything else you wanna add on? Yeah, I agree with, with all three <laughs> of those. Um, with the first one, you definitely want to join something that is related to your major because you want to show initiative and show that you are putting in work toward your major because employers will like to see that. Mm -hmm. um, but you also want to be well-rounded still, so joining other clubs that are outside of your major and just about your hobbies or something you identify with is really important. I feel like it's the same thing too with classes, especially if you're like a freshman or a sophomore when you're starting out in college. I feel like you should take classes that one is in the major that you are wanting to get in or that you are in and two, take classes that are outside of your major and just fields that you want to explore because you'll never know what you'll really enjoy until you try so yeah, that's the same thing for classes in my opinion so that is our answer what is question number three? Would you say there's any kind of sexist culture in the engineering department? I personally have never experienced any sexism in the engineering department but I do at times feel inferior to the people around me because the people around me are mostly men. I'd be in classes that would have 80% or 90% guys and I'd be in that small percentage so I would feel inferior to them like they're smarter than me or they're just better than me but they've never really degraded me in any way so from my experience I've never experienced any sexism but there are other stories out there that I haven't heard of so I can't say for sure. Do you have any input? Have you seen any like sexism around campus or at least in the engineering department? I personally haven't seen any but unfortunately I think it's always going to exist uh, yeah. just because engineering is very male dominated I think it's going to be there but from what I've seen so far people are pretty good about being inclusive and especially UW tries to focus on being inclusive of everybody so yeah for sure also if you hear little claws on the ground that's my dog <laughs> he's walking around but anyway I don't have anything else to say so let's move on to question number four how are the mental health services at UW I personally have never taken advantage of any of the mental health mental health mental health services at UW but I know there's a lot out there there are a lot of resources that you can find related to mental 
health. So definitely check them out. I'm pretty sure UW just has them on their website. They have all the numbers, all the emails, all of that. So definitely check them out. I just never have personally checked them out and I probably should because having good mental health is really important, especially being in college, being all stressed and everything. So yeah, definitely check them out. I know there's a lot out there. So yeah, that is my input on that. Do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I also haven't used any mental health services, but I know that they do exist. I also think that one of the biggest causes of poor mental health for college students is just being stressed out and uh, a lot of people don't get help with their classes when they should because they are like afraid of getting help. They might feel like they're not as smart or something. So uh, I think there's, there's a lot of resources for tutoring and getting help. So I think that would help with the mental health side of things. Um, but there are also actual mental health resources, but mm -hmm. I just haven't used them. Yeah. So. I don't know how great they are. <laughs> yeah, okay. Question number five. How much academic help for students would you say there is given that UW is such a big school? I say there's a lot of academic help that is given. You, you just have to take the initiative and actually reach out to them. Like for example, for the bigger classes, there are more TAs, which means there are also more office hours that you can go to to reach out and ask for help. There's definitely a lot of academic help that you can get. You just have to actually reach out. And like Corbin said before, there are also a lot of tutoring services that you can go reach out to and check out. And they're all free. So all you really have to do is just is just go to them so yeah what do you have to say i 100 percent agree with going to office hours um that's something i didn't take advantage of pretty much my first two years but i wish i did and as a former ta myself i love having students come to office hours so don't be afraid because that's what they're there for is to help you out so mm -hmm. definitely take advantage of that and there are some tutoring things like i mentioned before like clue uh, it's like a late night tutoring thing at one of the buildings Mm -hmm. yeah. Except I don't really know much about how it would be now that the quarter is online. Like, do you know if those I'm not if sure about is open? Yeah, I'm not sure about those. Um, but office hours for sure are still yeah. happening. Just office hours is happening, but the tutoring centers, I am not too sure if they are actually open in person. So definitely go search them up. They're on the UW website somewhere, and there's a lot of them too. So. So to answer your question, there is a lot of academic help that you can get at UW, given that it's such a big school. Okay, so this next question is actually for Corbin because he's a computer engineering student and I know a lot of you guys are wondering about the CSC department, the computer science and engineering department. I know a lot of you guys are wanting to get into CSC. So my question is, we all know it's competitive to get into CSC. We all know that it's hard to actually get admitted in, but how competitive is the environment once you're actually in the major or in the field? Like, how hard would it be to get an internship when there's so many other people trying to get the same internship as you and all that? Yeah, that's a good question. I would say that it's fairly competitive, but there are a lot of opportunities available. So the CSE department has these career fairs that you can go to mm -hmm. to uh, connect with recruiters from multiple companies. And even though there are a lot of students that are competing for the same internships, uh, most of these big companies allow a lot of interns. So That's true. Um, as long as you work hard and pass your interviews, you should be okay. There are limited opportunities if you're a freshman and sophomore. So the majority of internships are going to be uh, given to juniors and seniors, but they're still out there. And yeah, I think the CSE department in general is pretty supportive of everyone in it so it shouldn't be too bad mm -hmm. okay thank you for your answer and that is basically the end of this UW q a thank you to corbin for being in this video with me for helping me answer these questions and thank you guys so much for watching thank you for submitting your questions in and don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment down below if you have any more questions or any suggestions for future videos and i will see you guys next time bye